Here comes Jabalani. I don't know if I've said that right. It's a Zulu word for happiness. Anyway, she's a lovely boat, I think. She's 50 feet long, semi-traditional stern. She was built in 1993 by M&N Narrowboats and fitted out by Shipley Bridge Marina. She's been in the current hand, um, hands of the current owners since 2004, and she's well-loved and well-cared for, actually. You can see as we, as we go through the boat. The paintwork's in reasonable condition. She was last blacked in April 2021. Engine was last serviced in October, sorry, April 21, the blacking, and the service in October 2021. But she's not really been used a lot since at all, actually. Mixture of portholes and bus style windows. There's a nice side hatch there. All of these windows have fly screens. There's an anchor on the roof there. That dome you see is a self seeking satellite dome. The gas bottles are in the forward locker. There's three 13 kilos. One does the cooking, one does the heating, and one is a spare. The well deck itself is five feet long, so it's quite good space. It's got bench seats either side and a storage box stroke locker under the cratch board there. The cratch covers in good condition. There's paints and things in those crates under there. The well, um, water tank's under the well deck. It's stainless steel, 450 litres, nice glazed... Uh, Front doors and forward bulkheads, and into the sitting room. It's good space in here, 12 and a half feet long. Head height on the boat is 6 foot 2, all the lights are LED. The floor's a wood laminate. There's an arm chip bumble, get down. That's a sofa bed, two seater sofa bed next to the armchair. More so squirrel solid fuel stove. There was a new collar for the flue and a new blanking plate in 2021 for those. Storage under the steps. There's the JVC TV DVD combo, and that's a free sat box underneath it. Some quite useful storage drawers here. Little collapsible table. But <laughs> it's such a cheeky mud. You see the radiators there? There's three of those heated by the Aldi gas boiler. There's another cupboard here. Another collapsible table behind the armchair. And into the kitchen. The galley is six foot nine inches long. There's a side hatch there with an opening roof hatch. A fly screen for that as well. Good sized sink with a draining board. The fridge itself is a LEC 12 volt fridge. There's an ice box in there. A couple of good sized cupboards under here. That goes all the way back to the aft bulkhead. Bumble's got his tennis ball in his mouth. He's never happier than when he's got that tennis ball in his mouth. Useful shelves there. Cupboards here over the cooker. There's a couple of... Oh, there's a light under here, actually, that shines down onto the hob. It's four burner. It's a vanette. Four burner gas hob. Grill in there. And the oven underneath. And on the starboard side. A couple of cupboards. A bit more work surface area. I love this boat, she's uncomplicated, more than enough room to live in or holiday in. Down the corridor on the starboard side to the bathroom. The loser Porta Potty Excellence, there is a spare cassette for that. It's a countersunk basin, cupboards underneath. Floor in here is lino. And opposite the loo, there's a few shelves, there's the spare cassette. And in here is the washing machine. It's a twin tub, 230 volts. And next to that is the tiled shower area, shower cubicle. Onwards we go into the bedroom. Nine feet long this room. The bed's six foot three inches long, four feet wide. Storage underneath. There's a uh, Cupboard above the head end here with some reading lights. Portholes in here, you'll notice. At the foot of the bed, there's a corner cupboard here. And opposite that, oh, there's the Aldi boiler. Does your central heating. Does your hot water as well? Hot water is heated by the engine or the Aldi. And here's a wardrobe. A 
up the steps onto the semi trad rear deck four feet long this area bench seats either side with storage underneath nice little comfortable seat there there's a helmsman's view well that's ingenious that Oh, well, I'll show you. I'll tell you that in a minute. The engines are B to BV BV fifteen oh five. It's nice and clean in here. The battery bank is in here. There's three domestic batteries, hundred and ten amp hours, and one starter. So I was saying that secondary hatch is for the battery isolation switches. We spend half our lives wrestling with deck boards just to turn the batteries on and off. But brilliant idea. I love it. What else to tell you? LED throughout all the lighting. There is a Sterling 1800 watt inverter and there's a Victron battery charger. It's got a landline on board. There's a galvanic isolator. There's two USB charging points. She's got all the necessary navigation equipment to turn the key and go, to be honest. That's a hose, or well, two hoses actually. So there we go. Absolutely lovely boat, I think. Jabulani. For further photographs, fully downloadable spec, and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.